Well, so is that a first half all by itself, or is it appended to the well, uh, Mendelssohn? You know, it's a short piece. It's only seven yeah, or eight right, minutes, right. so we're going to have a short break in between, and then we'll go directly into the Mendelssohn. Okay. Now, Mendelssohn is a little different. I mean, most of us recognize the music, <laughs> and the overture will be there, which is about 12 or so minutes. But then Mendelssohn himself wrote this to be kind of, he wrote it to be semi-safe. I'm right about that, am I not? I mean, you well, feel it. The, that again, when he wrote the overture, he, that was, that no, was, that was it's just a concert piece, yeah, yes. Yeah, and yeah. then he was, I believe he was asked by the King of Prussia, King King William, to write, oh, good name. King William to write theater music for a production of Midsummer Night's Dream, and yeah. that's how it happened. So in this production, then, I mean, we're going to hear the themes that we know, the nocturne, the yeah. beautiful scherzo that you know starts it all off, and so forth. But that's a remarkably complicated Shakespearean plot. You know, <laughs> I tried to do the notes, which people are saying, well, it's too confusing. I'm thinking, well, so is the play. You haven't read it lately. So, but anyway, it, it really is. Yeah, it all kind of makes sense, and it's wonderful in the Shakespeare. So you're working with the Evansville Civic Theater, of course. Right. Yeah. How? You know, so what? How did the collaboration go? So I met Kevin Roach last year uh -huh. when I first started with right. the ETF, right. and we did a small production of Stravinsky's yeah. Soldier's Tale, right. and I really enjoyed working with him. It was only three actors for that, and it was at Civic Theater, the first time the Evansville Philharmonic ever performed at Civic Theater, which was really kind of cool. And then, uh, yeah, right, right. And then what happened was, uh, I was I love Mendelssohn's Midsummer Night's Dream, yeah. so I said, what else can we do? with uh, Civic Theater, so I brought it up to Kevin, and Kevin said to me, that would be great because we've done a lot of Shakespearean plays before. So right. I said, well, this is a perfect coming together, a perfect marriage, let's do the Midsummer Night's Dream. So Kevin said, okay, well, I'll bring in seven actors, seven of my actors, and sure enough, they play 16 different roles. For this. Yeah, that's right, Yeah, I noticed that. 16 and different characters. And it isn't just music, then actors, I mean, there's times when they are speaking on top of, I just looked at the score, the vocal, I mean, the, uh, the <coughs> instrumental lines. How do you, how do you do all that? <laughs> well, you know, I, I, the melodramas are a big yeah. part of it. So a lot of times, a lot of orchestras the past 20 years have only done the incidental music in the right. overture without any of the speaking. I said, have never heard of the speaking parts. So yeah. Uh, and now it's becoming, it's become much more common, I'd say, maybe oh, in the last okay. couple of years. And uh, I met with Kevin and the actors the other day. We went through the lines with our uh, pianist, and now we're going to put it together tonight with the full orchestra. And a lot of it has to do with the timing yeah. of the lines yeah. Yeah. with the music. All, this is all written out in the score. Yeah. You know, it all okay. says all right. the, the, the narrative of the, or the lines are uh, in a particular measure, which needs to match with the music. Yeah, right. So it does take a lot of time, but I'm fairly confident that this is going to be yeah, just yeah. a huge success. It's yeah. going to be, I, I love collaboration. Yeah, that's a great thing. 